Hi, my name is Brittany Cavallero. I'm the author of A Study in Charlotte, and these are some fun facts you might not know about me. I play all kinds of weird instruments, none of them are very useful, nobody ever needs anybody to play them. Um, and I play them all. I play like the weird little Fisher Price accordion. Um, I play the melodica, which looks like a keyboard for your mouth. Um, and I've kind of shed them over the years. The only one I still have is my ukulele. Um, but yeah, I will always be the girl playing the cowbell off to the side in the band. <laughs> When I was 15, I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, uh, the father-daughter edition. Um, we won no money, did not get into the hot seat. Um, and now there's just footage of me floating around on YouTube in an Ann Taylor twin set waving at the camera. Um, Regis Philbin came over to me at one point and said my name to me, and that was pretty much the coolest moment of my 15-year-old life. So I teach detective fiction, or I've taught detective fiction, creative writing, literature. Um, I have always loved Sherlock Holmes, uh, my first big, giant, epic love, but um, I also love Dorothy Sayers' Lord Peter Whimsey. Um, and I've actually put a bunch of Easter eggs that are Lord Peter Whimsey Easter eggs into a study in Charlotte. Uh, he has a monocle, he solves crimes, he drives a car, a, a Daimler that has like one of those like giant, like eight foot long hoods. He's amazing. I would highly recommend it. In addition to like writing poetry, I'm doing my PhD in, in English Lit. And one of the things I really love talking about is like a 19th century death, um, like cadavers and weird medical experiments gone wrong and Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And if it's weird and happening in a Victorian mansion, I've probably written a paper on it. Um, and then I realized you can't really say that to people at parties. So <laughs> I sort of moved away from it um, over to more deer stalkery type things. I have a collection of deerstalker caps. I actually don't know how many I have at this point. I think it kind of might be getting out of control. I'm really not sure though. I mean, I only have a few. It's probably not a big deal. I have a part of my brain that is reserved entirely for Buffy the Vampire Slayer episodes. Um, there is no situation where it is not the right idea to turn to your best friend and say, thank God we're hot chicks with superpowers. Um, so I do that all the time. We have a little black cat named Maggie, um, and she is itty bitty. She is like five pounds, and on the inside, we're pretty sure that she is all lungs, just like a set of lungs, and she just follows me around. Just There's something she's been trying to tell me for years. We haven't really figured out what it is, um, but she kind of sounds like a broken accordion a little bit, um, and I'll be writing in my study, and the cat will just decide that, you know, it's just going to scare me out of it and chases me right out the front door.